Hello everybody, welcome to my recordings of Awakening the Soul, which is Awakening to Love. For all of us on, the, on this journey of awakening to this beautiful pathway and understanding and knowing of the truth of our essence of being, one of the greatest uh, outcomes, of course, of this pathway is that we are always directed, constantly pointing to the source of deep, deep inner peace, that, that love. A lot of people often question the concept of love, not being a personal love, but a divine love. What is the truth of the love of the divine, the love of God or the, the universe. There's a lot of stigma and conditioning around the word love and what love means to us. But the source of divine love, or which is called agape love, is, comes from the understanding from the story of the ancient mystics who would express that true love comes from the experience of being able to turn within to the source of the deep, deep inner depths of peace. As we turn within and turn our attention away from the external world of the outside noise and our attention is returned back into the source into our own inner ground of being. The more we rest in this ground of being, our true nature, the more we experience this deep inner peace which allows us to no longer be distracted or attached to the movement and the chaos of the world. And this inner peace becomes a new way of being. It is awakening and touching the source of our soul's true nature and therefore the more we live our life from that place that place of peace and when there is peace in the heart when there's peace within that's when we can truly love we can love from a place of compassion um, from a love that is a divine love so love is actually an expression, an extension, the first movement, the flavour, the first taste of the movement from that ground, that beautiful foundation and ground of silent being. That ground of being that is our original existence. It is a journey that we have all taken, a 14 billion year journey from before time, before space, from the place of no thing, the ground of being, that place of no thing, the unborn, unmanifested, formless, timeless silent ocean of consciousness or a void but the true depth of the highest and purest nature of the divine and we all came from that place in a moment in a tiny moment when there was a decision was made to become so from the ground of being there was a movement of becoming and that source, that impulsive drive that pulled itself together and formed and continued to drive and gather in a tiny moment, in a pinprick a moment where all energy, all every aspect of energy burst out into the cosmos. The concept of the Big Bang. So when we when we know that our true nature comes from the ocean of silent consciousness, that void, 
that beautiful space of emptiness. And then the movement, the driving force, the part of us where we all were, we, this creative impulse. And this is the true, this is the, the concept of the movement of God. So God is a, um, a metaphor for uh, the, the principle, the creative principle of, of all things in form, in creativity, in movement. And yet we come from the place of inner silence, that deep, beautiful ground of being. And so, as we move into the cosmos, in the aspect of creativity, in the part of us that is the form, the movement, we are then given the opportunities to express that true nature. And we tap into that true nature of love through our own experience of diving within into that silence, into the aspect, turning our attention within into inner peace. And then when that peace is felt deep within, then love arises. Just like the Big Bang, love arises from that silent, peaceful void. And love is the movement, it's a moving action, it's a, it's a verb, a moving action. And so I invite you now to think about that. An invitation to just inquire into how do you tap into that movement, that aspect of the divine that is the driving force of love? And how can you love more deeply? How can you love more deeply? And you can love more deeply by allowing yourself to dive deeper in to this ocean of consciousness. And of course, this is done through the pathway of meditation. By turning within to the silence, into the deep, deep inner peace, then we can express more love and we can love more deeply. So how can you serve more love today how can you bring more love into your life? Because love is the essence, the spirit, the inner aspect of all things, all of nature. How can you breathe? The more you breathe, more love into your body. Can you taste the love? Can you listen to the love? Can you dance in the love? This is our entire existence is this dance, this taste, the taste of love the taste of the divine. Where are you living it? Where do you notice that you're living in that beautiful, creative flow of love? Is there any places in your life where you're not living it, where you're getting distracted? And what does love sound like? How do the words of love leave your lips? How does it move? Does it move gently? Does it move softly? Does it shake? Is it joyful? What are its actions? How does it touch? Where do you feel it? How does it see? There is so, so many opportunities for us to taste true divine agape love, the true nature of our being. And our way to continue to tap into and to activate that, that inner essence, to be able to return deeply 
into that beautiful fragrance, the taste of fragrance of love, to be able to feel it in its purity, in its most purest innocence for innocent form, to be able to feel it in its unlimited expression, to be able to feel that love in its infinite and unlimited expression throughout the entire cosmos, through all of existence, through every particle of everything that there is, seen and unseen. In the words and in the silence, this love flows through all things. And it's always here, present in this moment. It never moves. We move from it. We move our attention away from it. Because we're so programmed with our conditioning, our childhood conditioning, our cultural conditioning, our family conditioning, schooling, government, religion, all of the conditioning of the world. But the love, the love that all of the religions and mystics speak of, it is here, unmoving, always present, always available, and an opportunity awaits you to know it, to feel it, to dive deeply into it and allow a transmission of true knowing to deeply penetrate your soul. I hope you enjoyed this little talk and I'll be back again with some more but please join me at www.robincollins.com.au and uh, if you'd like to experience Band into your own love consciousness, into your own soul's knowing and truth, then you can also join me on any ongoing upcoming events, satsangs, retreats, weekend retreats, workshops, weekly retreats. Uh, I, am, I offer this awakening of love consciousness, this evolutionary approach to the truth. I offer this in humble service to the incredible, incredible gift that this has brought to me into my heart and soul, my knowing from my own journey of self-discovery and self-realization. Big love, everybody. I see you.